Hey guys, welcome back. Somebody dropped off this 191J at my house for me. This is a freebie and uh, it's in bad need of cleaning and some service. Apparently someone's done the good old electrical tape repair job. You can see the sun has done a number on this bake light on this pedal. Lucky for me, it's got the tradi traditional plug-in style. Oh, and look at that. <laughs> we got the good old electrical tape repair job on the plug as well. Looks like the bolts are there. I won't be using that. I'll hook up a different pedal to the machine to give it a test while I service this pedal and plug. So let's get this out of the way. Let's take a look at this machine here. Move a little bit closer. You can see it's not locked up. And it is a potted motor version does not have the belt and uh, for you guys that aren't familiar that's the potted motor version here has a it'll have a big canister on the back so it's the same as the 201 that I own and the 1591 so I'm assuming this is a 15 class and this is a 191 the other one is a 1591 so they're pretty much the same setup but I noticed this one has the tensioner in the front, like a, a 201. It's almost like they integrated the 1591 and took some of the nice things of the 201 and put it on here you can, with the uh, tensioner there on the front. So this has also got a feed dog drop, which I'm not familiar with on the older machines. I still have to look up the date on this machine. It does have a patent little sticker here, and I am in Canada. But there's a little sticker you can see right here, and that has a, a patent date for Canada, and it says 1934, I do believe. I'll have to get my glasses, obviously, and take a look. So, it's a pretty old machine. It's got some wear on the deck here, but it's freed up and all the parts are there. The only thing I see missing is this upper spool pin. So, I got some of those in my inventory of parts, so I'll drop a spool pin in here. Oil this machine, give it a cleaning, and I'll be right back showing this machine running a stitch. Because we all know these old singers, they just need oil and some love, a little bit of elbow grease to make it clean again. And uh, this thing will be up and running stitches just like the day it was made. So give me one second, and uh, I'll be right back with a clean running 191J. Okay, I have a pedal plugged in and the light works. Look at that. I've already gone and put a bobbin in the bobbin case with some thread on it. And I noticed the tension felt a little loose on the bobbin. But that's okay. This is a first stitch run. I have to do some adjustments. That's okay. I'll just take you guys along with me. I also noticed there's no needle guide on the uh, needle clamp there so um, just so you guys know this is a flip 15 class machine so it threads from the inside out and uh, there we go pick up that bobbin thread and give this machine a run so I just cleaned it with oil gave it an oiling I didn't do an extensive cleaning I didn't pull the Oops, bang my camera there. Did not pull the bobbin winder uh, apart or the upper tension. I didn't pull any of that stuff apart. I did clean the um, feed dogs. I took that out and got all the lint and everything out of there. I did pull this cover open and I oiled all the oiling points. Uh, it did look like I'm missing an upper felt, uh, but that's okay. Those are little things. I got the feed dog drop working. I don't know if you guys can see that dropping right now. But there you go, that's working. So, anyways, uh, without any further ado, just got a little piece of leather here we'll do a test on. And guys, I didn't change the needle in this machine. I'll be honest with you, I just left the needle in because the needle looks pretty new. So, I'm going to leave this needle in and see what happens. So, let's give her a go. There we go, that's the first stitch. And that looks like I thought. Get that up. The bobbin tension is <clears throat> pretty loose. I can see the 
bobbin thread there I have a dark blue on the bottom it's hard for you guys to see there but I can see it's pulling through on the uh, on the top thread so there you go maybe I'll loosen this back but I'm already down to like two I'm gonna drop that down to one on that upper thread tension and give it another go and uh, oh I pulled my thread out <laughs> look at that I guess I won't give it another go anyways give me a second here and I'll get that rethreaded and adjust this bobbin just so you guys know if you're not familiar with the 15 class bobbin there's a little screw right here you guys can tighten to get your tension a little tighter on the thread there so as you can see um, when I pull the thread it comes out very very easily so I'm gonna tighten that screw just until I feel a good amount of resistance like the 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 thread should not pull through freely it should be able to hold the bobbin case you should be able to hold your bobbin case at least uh, for a starting point I noticed with this one if I did that the bobbin case would fall right to the ground so I already knew it was a uh, it's gonna have a bobbin tension issue so Anyways, that's enough jibber-jabber about bob and tension. Let me get this put back in the machine, and we'll try running a second stitch, see if it's improved. Okay, guys. I'm back. I'll talk to you quick about this bobbin before I put it in. don't know if you noticed, is when I went to go pull the thread, you could hear it sound like a ratcheting sound, because I had this style of bobbin. See these holes in it? Well, I found these holes were clicking against the screw inside of there making it sound like a ratchet it was going and I was wondering what it was so just so you guys know if you hear that going on with your bobbin you might want to use a solid bobbin case all right so that's what I've done there I've switched it out to a solid bobbin case and I've adjusted my tension so now put this back in the machine here get this threaded let's see if we've improved our stitch by tightening that bobbin now my tension still down to one here I'm just gonna bring it up to two on the upper tension because who knows where I'm at right now on the bottom so let's uh, let's give this go now I changed thread color I used red on the top and white on the bottom uh, because the bobbin that I grabbed was already threaded with white thread so I didn't want to have to re-spool a bobbin thread so I just left the white on the bottom and there we go everything is all balanced now all right now I'm gonna be back in one second I'm gonna show you guys a weight comparison between this and a 1591 you've seen in the beginning this machine's 35 pounds. Let's see what a 1591 weighs. Okay, guys, here we go. Turn my scale on. Throw it out. And here is a 1591 potted motor. Now, 28 pounds. That's almost 7 pounds lighter. Now, the other one does have a base, but 7 pounds. That's quite a bit difference. So I wonder what one's newer. The potted motor 1591 or the potted motor 191J. Anyways, guys, thanks for stopping by and uh, leave me a comment if you want to see me weigh all my machines. If you want to know what these machines weigh, leave me a comment. Let me know. And then I'll, uh, I'll get my scale up and I'll weigh all my machines for you guys. Anyways, till then, guys, stay safe. I'll talk to you soon. here listen I know you're waiting to hear more about that contest well you'll hear enough soon I guess I'll put this away for now or else you guys will never leave okay talk to you again soon take care guys